World tense? Check. Countries flexing? Check. Missiles? Oh yeah, they're the stars of this show. Think of them as the ultimate deterrent. You mess with me, I launch a rocket. Not exactly subtle, but effective. China's been building up its missile muscle for a while now. India, not one to be left behind, is catching up fast. It's like a high-stakes game of who's got the bigger rocket, but with global security hanging in the balance. This isn't just about bragging rights. These missiles represent a country's ability to project power, deter threats, and basically say, don't even think about it. So, what happens when two rising Asian giants start comparing arsenals? Let's just say things get interesting. Time to meet the contenders in this missile matchup. China's DF-31AG and India's Agni Vyak. First up, the DF-31AG. This is China's road-tripping, multiple warhead-toting missile. Think of it as a mobile fortress, always on the move, making it tougher to track and target. With a range of over 7,000 kilometers, that's like flying from New York to London. And then some. The DF-31AG can reach most of Europe and a good chunk of Asia. It's been around for a while, but China keeps upgrading it, making it more accurate and harder to intercept. Not exactly the kind of thing you want aimed in your general direction. Now, let's meet India's answer to the DF-31AG, the Agni VI. Still under development, this missile is shrouded in secrecy, but what we do know is impressive. Imagine a missile that can carry multiple warheads, each aimed at a different target. Now imagine that missile has a range of over 10,000 kilometers, putting all of China, Europe and even parts of Africa within reach. The Agni VI is like the new kid on the block with some serious potential. It's designed to be faster, stealthier and more maneuverable than its predecessors, making it a real game changer in the region. Okay, time for a head-to-head. -head. Both missiles are designed to deliver a serious punch, but they have their differences. The DF-31AG, with its road mobile capabilities, is all about stealth and surprise. It's like that friend who always shows up unannounced. The Agni VI, on the other hand, is still in development, but it's shaping up to be more of a precision instrument, able to hit multiple targets with pinpoint accuracy. China has a clear edge in terms of experience and deployment. They've been at this missile game longer. India, however, is catching up fast, leveraging its technological prowess and a healthy dose of ambition. It's like watching a tortoise and hare race, except the tortoise has rockets strapped to its back. Who will win in the long run? Too early to say, but it's definitely a race worth watching. So, what's the point of all these missiles? For China, it's about projecting power and deterring potential adversaries, particularly the United States. The DF-31AG is a key part of their anti-access area denial strategy, basically trying to keep the US Navy at bay. India's missile program is driven by a slightly different set of anxieties. They are more concerned about regional rivals like Pakistan and, of course, China. The Agni VI gives India the ability to hit back hard, no matter where the threat originates. It's like two neighbors, each building a taller fence just to be safe. Except these fences are topped with hypersonic missiles. The problem is, this kind of arms race can create a climate of mistrust and make everyone feel less secure. It's a classic security dilemma. The DF-31AG and Agni VI are just two examples of a worrying trend. The global spread of advanced missile technology. More and more countries are getting their hands on these powerful weapons, and that's making the world a more unpredictable place. It's like handing out loaded guns at a picnic. Someone might get hurt, even if it's an accident. The international community needs to find a way to manage this arms race before it spirals out of control. That means dialogue, arms control agreements, and maybe even a little bit of compromise. Easier said than done, right? But hey, if we can't even agree to stop pointing giant rockets at each other, what hope is there for humanity? Just something to ponder the next time you see a missile launch on the news.